Hello and welcome to Maker Edit Home. My name is Luke. One of the easiest ways to learn how sound, resonance, and vibration work together to create music is by making your own homemade instruments. Your options are limitless, but today, if you have plastic straws, a mouth, and a pair of lungs, then we're going to make a plastic straw pan flute. A pan flute is a member of the woodwind family of instruments. The length of the straw determines the note that is played. Sound is produced by the vibration of an airstream blowing through the straw. The air resonates the straw, producing a pitch. The longer the straw, the lower the pitch. The shorter the straw, the higher the pitch. There are eight notes in a scale. The lowest note and the highest note are called an octave. Therefore, the longest straw is an octave higher than the shortest one. Supplies. First, you're going to need eight plastic straws, a ruler, a marker, a pair of scissors, and some kind of tape. Step one. The first thing we need to do is measure our straws. Your first straw is going to be six inches long. So make a mark at six inches on your straw. Now you're going to remove a half inch from the rest of the straws. Your next straws will be five and a half inches, five inches, and four and a half inches. Your next three straws will be four inches, three and a half inches, and three inches. Your last straw will be two and a half inches. Step two, now we need to cut our straws. You're going to cut on the lines you just drew, but save the excess. We will use those for spacers in between our notes. Step three, now we need to cut our spacers. So you're going to cut all your excess pieces to two inches. These will be placed in between your notes so that you can comfortably play between each note. Line up straws from biggest to smallest. Remember, the longer the straw, the deeper the note. The shorter the straw, the higher the note. Make sure your two inch spacer is between each straw. Step four, now we need to tape our straws together. Use your ruler to make sure that the end of your straws, where you will blow into them, is even. Take out a piece of tape and lay it carefully over your straws. It's also a good idea to flip your pan flute over and reinforce the back with another piece of tape. Excellent! Now we are ready to play our pan flute. One of the most important things to remember when playing your pan flute is your embouchure. 
Your embouchure is how your mouth is formed when you're blowing air across the straws. Now, if you just hold up your pan flute to your mouth and start blowing without any kind of embouchure, you're not going to get a great sound. So you kind of need to think about how when you blow over a bottle. So your mouth, your bottom lip needs to be really close to your bottom teeth, kind of like an awkward grandma smile, like this. And then you're gonna purse your lips open just a little bit, putting your fan flute flat up against your lips. So make this part as flat as you possibly can and purse your lips open just a little bit, allowing just a little bit of air escape. It's going to take some practice, but keep trying. Thank you for making with us today. Follow us at iTeachMakerBus, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can share your creation online using the hashtag iTeachMaker. See you later, makers.